Good afternoon, fans, and welcome to the championship game of the Northampton Youth Football Junior Division. I'm Rob Osberg. We are here at Cronk Field in Belchertown, a location completely unsuitable given the, uh, the importance of this event. We're perched on top of, precariously perched on top of some bleachers about five feet off the ground. We've got a setting sun. We've got the tops of heads. We have a terrible vantage point, but Kesson Productions and his determination is bringing you this exciting championship game featuring the Northampton Blue Devils against the Greenfield the Bulldogs. I'm here joined by a uh, graduate of this program, Eric Osberg. Say hi to the folks, How Eric. How are you? How are you? How do you feel about being here today on this beautiful fall day for this championship game? I mean, I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling all right. <laughs> <laughs> And there's know. the kickoff. Northampton is receiving, and that's number eight, Eugene Rentis, who pick up, picks up the ball about the 25-yard line. And after about a five-yard gain, he's brought down by a green wave. That'll be first and ten Blue Devils. They'll take over on their own 30-yard line. This Blue Devil junior team, these fifth and sixth graders, have had an extraordinary six season. Yeah, season. Six points on defense. That's right, Eric. This is, and I think that those six points might have been scored by this, this very... This very team, this uh, Greenfield team, might have been the only team all season long to actually score against this amazing Blue Devil offense. They'll take over first Defense. and ten. Deep. They're going to take over first and ten. It is a beautiful day. It is November, what's today? November 3rd. It's the 3rd of November. And these kids couldn't have asked for a nicer day. This game last year was played during the famous October blizzard last year. <laughs> Nothing like that today. I think that's Luke Melcher under center. Hand off to number nine, that is Ryan Long, and he just sort of drops ahead for about a one-yard gain. Number nine, Ryan Long. You know, good, good job by the Greenfield line to get through. Not really anything on the edge there no gain on the play. for number nine. Bring up second down, second if they're going to get anything in this Devils. game, they're going to get a push on the line. Just. <laughs> So folks, we apologize for the shakiness of our camera. We are precariously poised on a on some bleachers here, and maybe we can change our spot a little bit to reduce the amount of movement. The second down and nine, Blue Devils out of an eye formation. And there's Long again. And he again, it for up about five yards, but there is a flag in the play, and I'm not quite sure what the call is gonna be. It might be a face mask. Flag on the play. And that is a face mask on the part of the face mask. on the part of the Bulldogs. That's gonna that's a spot foul and that'll advance the ball ten yards from the spot of the foul and that'll bring up first and ten on the Blue Devils. Official face mask. Check that, that is a fifteen yard personal foul. That's a big penalty against the Bulldogs. Personal that was a face foul. mask. Fifteen yard penalty. We'd get down a little bit closer, but unfortunately, uh, I'm short, and so I wouldn't be able to see over the over the fans. <laughs> First and ten, Blue Devils at midfield. Back in the eye formation, and that's number 13, Cicero. Oh, he is quick. That's uh, a good run, breaking a tackle. Yeah, outstanding run. As more fans join us on the bleachers here and bounce up and down, as, as, as fans join us, they make the, uh, the this even more precarious. As some of the enthusiastic young players like to use this as not just a place to sit, but as a teeter totter. <laughs> That's Cicero's quite a back. He's had an amazing season. He's a smallish player with lightning quick feet and he's deceptively fast. All year long players have lined up to try to bring him down and he tiptoes by them. He's had an amazing, amazing season so far. Out. Second and two. Meltzer lines up on their center. They're back in their uh, eye formation. And that's Melcher. He's got A some room push. on the outside. Cuts it back, slips, bursts ahead. He's going to be close to the first down. Really a good push by the Northampton line right there. You know, going to number nine t twice and then coming back with some misdirection. Uh, I like the call. And yeah, that call was good for a first down, Eric. That'll, that takes the ball all the way down to the, it looks like about the, was that the 35 yard line of the Bulldogs? First and 10. Uh, 
And there's a pitch out to Cicero. Good block. Oh, nice screen block. Yeah, and he burst ahead for another five yards. This is an impressive. Ryan Long was able to seal him off on the side to get the cutback lane. Could you tell who was on the block? Was that number fifty? Mm. Looked like number fifty-five, Troy Renner, on that who made that nice block there on that play. Number nine sealed sealed the edge. For yeah, the cutback lane. Yeah. Who's the number nine? Ryan Long. Ryan Long, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your attention, please. We have a long. Yeah, this has been a, this has been a, an efficient drive so far for the Blue Devils. Mother's name is Jennifer Schwartz. <laughs> And there's Long on the inside, and that's a good run to the inside, and it's going to be really close to the first down. Let's see what the spot is. And I think that's going to be enough for a Blue Devil first down. And it is. There's the call by the official. Another first down for the Blue Devils as they're efficiently marching down the field. That, that line is doing a nice job. Can you tell some of the, some of the numbers on that offensive line, Eric? No, I'm having trouble seeing. Yeah, we are, we're, 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 we are looking into a setting sun here. 50, you know, 77, 58. Yeah, that's 77. Jared Smith number, number I think that's up. Jared Smith doing a real nice job on the inside there. Oh, another good push. Although, uh, well, it looks like they shot their two outside. It looks like they shot their two hour right outside linebacker. Yeah, to, that was uh, a that was a nice chain. That was a nice adjustment on the part of the Green Wave. They uh, they brought their defensive backs up on the line, really held off the corner there. And despite the fact that our interior lineman did a nice job, they stacked that line to the right side and stopped the Blue Devils for about a half a yard loss, bringing up second and about eleven. Northampton keeps with that die formation. And there's a pitch to, to uh, number eight, Rentis, and he does have some room and some blockers. Uh, unfortunately, that's going to be about a very a good dump. open field tackle, though, by number seven on, the, on Greenfield. Yeah, that was only about a two yard gain. That's going to bring up third to about nine. Yeah, Ryan Long had an opportunity to make a punishing block out there, and he actually missed it. Good, good. Give credit as you to the uh, give credit to the Greenfield cornerback who held this spot. Had Ryan Long taken him out of the play, he could have taken that outside for three or four more yards. Instead, Absolutely. the Greenfield uh, defender held the corner, forced Ryan Long back up into the uh, into the defense. First shotgun formation. Loading pass. And it looks like a completion on Ryan Long, but there's going to be a flag on the play. Uh, no, no, no. Pass was incomplete, and there's a penalty against Northampton. Ineligible receiver downfield. That's going to be a five-yard penalty. It's going to be interesting to see if they take the penalty or they opt for fourth down. Um, I challenge, I question this call. If I were if I were Greenfield in this place, I would decline the penalty, taking up bringing up fourth and nine. And they're thinking about it. And the coaches are conferring, and it'll be fourth or nine, and th third and fourteen. They are declining it. I think that's the right call. I think that is absolutely right call. Kesson Productions has his crew working on the stability of our surroundings here. I think he got some paper. He folded it up just like you do in a restaurant when you have a tilty table. Now, special thanks to Kesson Production. He's brought his whole crew here to help provide stability to our environment. We suspect at some point the during the course of, of the game. The crew of one. one. It's going to be fourth and nine. Another fourth shotgun. Nine. Yeah, trips, trips right. Fakes the hand the off. Ran the same play over. to Ryan Long, and he caught that one. And although it was a completion, I don't think they're going to have enough for a first down. No, he did not. And that's going to be first and ten. Greenfield, who held up. That was about an eight-yard play. They, ran, they went back to the well, ran the same play. Ryan Long caught it, but was brought down. Solo tackle on the part of that cornerback. That's quite a job. Ryan Long's a kind of is tough, tough to bring down one-on-one. -on -one. Greenfield takes over first and ten, and it looks like they have the ball on about their 15-yard line. This gives us an opportunity to acknowledge the tremendous job that head coach Mike Demon and assistants Brian Bisesky, Pat Diggins, and Hank Gerardin has done with this team all year. We've talked about how well coached these, this team is, and I suspect we're going to see a well-played game from these Blue Devils. Even though the first drive came up a little short, it was an efficient drive. Greenfield does take over deep in their territory, and that, that impressive New York um, Blue Devil defense takes over. There were a number of sponsors that helped bring Northampton youth football 
to its level of excellence this year, contributing significantly to the performance off the field, and they include the premium sponsors of the Northampton Police Relief Association, Calvin Coolidge Nursing Home, and Angelic Builders. They stepped up all year for these Blue Devils, but for their generosity, we wouldn't have the quality equipment that we do, and really appreciate like some confusion with the timing right now. Yeah, I'm wondering what's the going clock. on as well. I appreciate you paying attention to this, and time is out. Denver Broncos 3, Cincinnati Bengals 0. Okay. Well, after about a 10-minute delay on rules, the teams have come back onto the field. Apparently, uh, I heard from an inside source that uh, Coach Hank Gerard had noticed in Greenfield's semifinal game last week that they were lining up in a way that may be inconsistent with the rule book, and there was some discussion about that before this play started. Nevertheless, here we are, first in 10, Bulldogs take over on the 15-yard line. And there's a fake handoff, drops a pass, and he's got a receiver open down the middle, wow. and he catches it. What a throw by, by the Greenfield quarterback. Getting behind the Northampton secondary. On the run catch, it's, it's about a, is that a 35 yard? Yeah, that ball's all the way to the, that's true, that's all the way to the 45-yard uh, line, so that's a 30-yard that's a play. Brought down by number, I think that was Melcher, number three, who tracked him down. A real gutsy call on first down, but I can't disagree. With a defense such as uh, Northampton's stopping the run, being their uh, bread and butter, I wouldn't, I wouldn't disagree with a with an opening pass. Ooh, there's a nice play. Yeah, that's number 50, Devonte Edmonds. What a year he's had. He's a, he is just a wrecking ball on that defensive line. Loss of two. I think Devonte personally was responsible for about a loss of 200 yards on the part of the uh, op opposition this year. He's just been a monster, and he's stoling his uh, partner. In crime, number number 55, yeah, Renner. Scare you away? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Eric Osberg has been fired. Uh, veteran, uh, uh, broadcasting veteran Andrew Shelfo got through the traffic and, and made it here, and there's a flag on the play. It's got to be motion, yeah. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> back up there in the end, in backfield. So uh, we, we sort of flip things around here. I've been doing play-by-play, -play and Eric has been doing color, but since you're back, we might as well go back to the uh, to our old system. And you know what they say, Rob, don't mess with success. <laughs> That's right. So. It's brought us this far all the way to the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's it's right. It's good for us. Here we go. And I see you came with uh, sunglasses. That was a good, good thinking. I, I did. We really Thank appreciate uh, the inside commentary that Eric Osberg brought to the uh, brought to the broadcast today. That will go on his, his personal reel, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, you know, is an aspiring communications major. He's only a junior in high school and we're starting well, to look at college. School junior. High school junior, that's right. And as we look at colleges, communications are in his, in his future. So this is a little practice. Well, if practice makes perfect, I think we still got a long way to go, too. That's for sure, but, but I never claimed to be a communications <laughs> major. It's second down and about 18 yards to go. It's a beautiful day for football. I'm sure you already covered that one, Rob. You know, it's spectacular despite our precarious perch on five feet up on these uh, <laughs> tin bleachers. I don't think these are up to code. Well, the engineers, uh, you know, during it's looking for a pass. Yeah, it's being pursued out of the end, out of the backfield. It's got some room. He's going to try to run it. Forced out of bounds there. You know that quarterback showed some athleticism. Devonte can run, and he actually outran Devonte in the corner. A real impressive. Of course, if Devonte was chasing me, I would find speed I that otherwise that I didn't. I wouldn't have. Yeah, Devonte did a great job of getting through that line and blowing up that play. He did. I that, think that was pretty much a no game. That's going to be what third and about 18, 19 there. Looks like it, y'all. Yeah, Greenfield's not afraid to open it up, though. They had that, uh, before you got here, Greenfield, the first play from scrimmage was about a 35-yard post pattern right down the middle. But for Luke Melcher's speed, that would have gone for a score. Well, one thing we've seen all year is that these Blue Devils, if, if you have a play that takes a lot of time, they're going to get to the quarterback. There's a snap. They're looking to hand off the on the third and 19. And I don't think it's going to get there. Drag down. Let me see if I can pull that number. Renner, 55. That's number 55. That's Troy Renner doing a good job of stiffing that one out. Yeah, that's the end of the first quarter. I saw the referee lift his cap, signifying the end of the first quarter. So at the end of the quarter, uh, brings up a fourth down. Let's see if they're going to punt after the quarter change. 
All right, we're getting ready to start the second quarter here, and I can't tell. Is that they just switched ends? So it's fourth and fourth and about eleven. Fourth and about eleven. So Greenfield's got to get around this right side of the ball, and then they're most likely going to punt. You have to take a look and see what they're going to do here. That seems like the wise decision. Yeah, they seem a little bit confused by the switch of ends here, but now they got it under control. And that does look like a uh, punt formation, Andrew. Yeah, we got Melcher back deep to field the punt. Coach is telling him to back up a couple more steps, and here we go. Quarterback takes a the snap. There's the oh. punt. Little off the side of his foot. Field Landry at the, around the 45-yard line. That was Ben Landry. Did a good job. He was the up back for that. Field of the punt gained about five yards. The Blue Devils are going to take over right around the 50. I'll tell you what, that was a really nice job by Ben Lander. He caught that ball cleanly. He took his time, received the ball, make sure he possessed it properly before he ran. I think he was wise enough to realize that even if he fell down right where he caught it, the Blue Devils were going to get good possession. Showed great poise and then ran ahead for another five or six yards. A very impressive play by number 26, Ben Landry. I think you're right about that, considering he wasn't the guy who was lined up deep to receive it in the first place. All right, Blue Devils are going to take over on offense. We have a tight formation. Midfield. Well, Melcher calls the signals. There's a handoff looking for some room on the left hand side. He is met by the Greenfield defense. Who was that carrying that ball, Rob? Was that, yeah, that, was, uh, no, that was number that, that was, was number eight Rentis. Eugene Rentis. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the Blue Devils when they're in that bunch formation. They've got to spread out a little bit more. Well, with their athleticism, the uh, the advantage of being more spread allows them to use their speed and their athleticism. Although they did have success in their first drive running inside. It was long for five, long for four, Cicero for six. They uh, Unfortunately, a penalty thwarted their drive. So that brings up second and about eight. Melcher takes a snap, there's the pitch. And there's Cicero, he gets outside. Cicero on the outside, looking for some room. Ooh. Brought down after a gain of about uh, three there. And he was landing on, he may have had the wind knocked out of him there. Jumps, jumps. That's my son. He's great. And unfortunately, number uh, 13, Cicero on that play, uh, looks like he got kind of a tough hit. Yeah, I think he had the wind knocked out of him. All right, we're ready here. Third down and five, let's call it. Five, six yards to go. Yeah, this is the is that trick for me. Two, two receivers out to the left. Shotgun formation. Melcher takes a snap, fakes the throw. He's looking to run. He's, oh, got, he's some got some room, room up the middle. He gets he's got the first down. Going for the outside here. There's the stiff arm still on his feet. 20, 10. Pushed out of bounds around the, well, they're calling out around the 15-yard line. Great run by Melcher. Boy, it looked like Everett Colston in that play, the, the uh, fleet-footed quarterback for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. That play was right out of the game yesterday with uh, with Purdue. You know, the little delay from the quarterback position, put the ball up there, make it look like you're going to pass, and then use your legs to burst ahead. First and 10, Blue Devils deep into the Bulldogs' territory. That was the type of play we were talking about, Rob, using, using the formation to their benefit. Take the throw to the two receivers split out to the left, hold the defensive backs, and then scoot up the middle for a nice gain of about 25 well, yards. I like that formula a lot. So it's first and 10, and they're going to be on the, they're going to call the 15 yard line. Yeah, that Bulldogs timeout, they saw that formation, panicked, called the timeout. The Blue Devils really have these guys back backpedaling now. And I will say, Rob, there's a, there's a great crowd here today for these games. Lots of people yeah. making the trip from Greenfield and Northampton. Very few good places to watch the game from because there aren't really any bleachers. Again, a venue totally unsuitable given the importance and the excitement of this game. Fans struggle to look over each other, peek underneath each other, crowd together. A stadium where a lot of people could have stood up high. We would, been, we would have been more comfortable. That's for sure. Right, so here's the tip on this precarious bleacher. <laughs> yeah, we just don't want to fall off. All right, referee whips is the start of the uh, play clock. Melcher in the court, in the shotgun, takes the snap. He's got a trip formation to his left. Hand off to Rentis up the middle, still on his feet. That, That's a gain of about six yards That there. was Ryan Long right there. That was number nine. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was number eight. See, I can't see from where I am, Rob. Yeah, we, we, we have kind of a tough angle, that's for sure. But that was Ryan Long. I mean, you could just tell by his powerful inside running. Second time out by the, by the Green Wave, or by the Bulldogs, excuse me. Yeah, they were trying. So Greenfield called timeout after that play. They looked a little bit confused before that play started, actually, with well, some late they, personnel changes. They've been confused two plays in a row because they used two times out, two timeouts on consecutive plays. 
So second and five on the 10 yard line, deep in Greenfield territory. We're using that same formation, trips left formation. Melcher is the quarterback in the shotgun. Long his backfield mate. Takes the snap. He's running to his right. Nice block. Behind his blocker. Oh, but there's, there's a flag on the play. Looks like they're going to get him for a hold. Let's yeah, see what the call is. There was, that was blocked in the back, block I think. In the back, and number that's going to be on the Blue Devils. Yeah, those back. are the kind of mistakes that just destroy a drive. You know, they had all the momentum in the world, and uh, unfortunately, an over-enthusiastic blocker. And I, I think uh, I'll give a little bit of credit to Greenfield there. They called those timeouts, kind of slowed down the momentum of the Blue Devils a little bit. Blue Devils are definitely getting into a rhythm with a couple of plays there. And then they just got out of sync on that play. Well, there does seem to be, each team does seem to have an unlimited number of timeouts. It's one of the other things that we never quite figured never out. Never figured it out. That and the actual time of the game are, are two great mysteries. Well, uh, ironically here they have a big old clock, but it doesn't seem to be working. So that brings up a second and 15 after the penalty. Melcher's up under center. Takes the snap. There's the hand up to Rentis to his left. He got a lot of room there. That's a solid gain of about 12 yards. They did a little bit of a counter there, Rob. Well, you know, that's a new play in their uh, arsenal. And yeah. uh, two, two, two running backs in the backfield. They all pulled to the right. Uh, Rentis, Rentis pulls to the left. He gets the handoff, and he had a lot of room out there. Yeah, and a real nice open field tackle by the Greenfield safety prevented that from being uh, six points for the Blue Devils, but brings up a third and about three, three and a half. It's definitely two down territory, and they can make a first down before they score. So the Blue Devils are on about their uh, seven or eight yard line here. Yeah, they got about three and a half yards to go. Eye formation behind Melcher. Melcher takes a snap. There's a hand up to Long, and he goes into the heart of that Greenfield defensive line. He's pushed forward a little bit, but he's going to be about uh, two yards short of that first down. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. Looking by the, judging by the spot of the uh, sideline official who's rushing in, it might be really close. It might be about. There might be a measurement on this, Andrew. He was well, stopped, just, but just sheer strength and determination. They just call, flipped it over to fourth down over there, so it's fourth down and about, about a half a yard to go. Yeah. Well, let's see. We can use some of that determination here on fourth down. Uh, real impressive job by the interior defense of uh, the Bulldogs on that particular play, but uh, Ryan Long, after being stopped at the line of scrimmage, got a, got a little help from his friends. And also, one thing we've seen about Ryan all season long, he, he keeps his legs going. He does. Until he's pushed down, he's going to oh, keep goodness. those legs going. And so there's another, a, timeout. another timeout. And that's their third, and they might have six more to this half. We're not sure. Uh, all right, big fourth down play, fourth and one. After the timeout, Greenfield getting sure. themselves all set. Quarterback, I'm sorry, the Greenfield coach is talking to the referee. Maybe he must to make sure he still only has a half dozen timeouts left or so. I think he's, think he's, one think he's got three more. There might be six and a half. We're not sure. All right, he's off the field now. Referees are checking with each other, make sure they're all set. Just waiting for the whistle to get this play going. Now they're having a conference. This probably has to do with that call. There's another timeout. Referees on the referees. And we know they get as many as they want. All right, now the referee is going to talk to the coach. Coach Dean is going to go on the field to talk to his players. All right, we got a fourth and one here. There was a little bit of discussion among the coaches and the referees, but we're ready to go. Melcher up under center, calls the signals. Takes a snap. There's a hand up the long. He's got the hole. He's got the first down. He's a touchdown. touchdown. Six up the Blue Devils. Boy, those Blue Devils didn't let a little delay swing them from their concentration on that play, Rob. Well, they wouldn't do what they were delay. supposed to. You know, this is a, sort of a classic situation where the Greenfield coaches, who clearly haven't been following the letter of the law, got called on at this time. The fans are angry, the coaches are angry, the referees looked at the rule, decided the Blue Devils were right, shifted kids around, the Blue Devils took full advantage and burst ahead for a score. Here's the two-point conversion try. Melcher in the shotgun. Takes a step to keep it himself. Following along up the middle, and he is in for the two-point conversion. Eight nothing Blue Devils. Yeah, they just powered through that Greenfield defense. And just to clarify, Rob, what happened there before that fourth down play is that the Blue Devil coaches were pointing out to the referees that Greenfield had some players 
who are overweight and therefore have to play the line who weren't playing the line. And there was a lot of discussion about where people should be aligned up. And that led to a little bit of a delay between third and fourth down. Well, that's exactly right. I mean, if we were allowed to play Renner and, for instance, Devontae Edmond linebackers, where they got to use their speed and strength to burst through the line, it, it would make this already impossible defense even more impossible. I mean, the fact is these rules are in here for a reason. The rules are in here for safety. The rules are in here to try to even out the playing field so that kids who develop faster or a little bit faster can't dominate. The Hamp properly called Greenfield on the transgression. The referees agreed, and play goes on. And give the referees credit. Um, there have been some referee crews this season that we've seen that haven't really been willing to enforce those rules. But this crew said, yeah, you're right, and they made Greenfield switch their players. So now we're getting ready for the kickoff, and there's still some discussion out there about who the players are supposed to be. You know, this is a case where the Greenfield coaches have let their team down, and now their fans are angry. I mean, these, these rules are published. They're enforced by the league. The fact that Greenfield, you know, isn't following it and is putting players who are overweight in inappropriate positions is not the fault of the, uh, the Blue Devils. Here we go. Powers looks like he's getting ready to kick. Oh, there we go. Was Jarden with the oh, kick. That ball's a live ball. Gets that was it touched. through, and it's still he falls on it. Yeah, he was going to try to pick it up and roll with it, but he did a wise thing and fell on that ball. Greenfield will take over at the 39-yard line. I think you're right, Rob. There was there was some unsatisfaction, dissatisfaction on the Greenfield sideline right about now. I don't think they liked what happened there, especially because it resulted in a touchdown for the Blue Devils. But now they got to go right back to work and... and See if they can match it. You know, teams prepare. They, they put their position, their, their players in the position based on the published rules. It's, not real, it's uh, not real complex, these rules. They have meetings about these rules all year. People attend the rules. They have uh, rule sessions. They have opportunities to ask questions. And you're right, Rob. It's all about safety. It's, it's making sure these kids are safe. So Greenfield takes over on offense. They're on the 40-yard line. The referees are making sure everybody's all set. Lots of motion in the backfield. Quarterback in a shotgun, takes the snap. He's looking to throw. He's got a receiver open. It is tipped away at the last second. Was that, that was Ryan Long? Yeah, that was Long. Nice play by the middle linebacker, Ryan Long yeah. there. You know, after, after scoring the Blue Devils' first touchdown, to come out and make such a dominant play on defense right out of the gate, it's a big deal. I mean, this, this defense all year, it's the, it's, it's the fearsome triangle. You got Long in the middle playing middle linebacker. You got you know Renner on one side. You got Edmonds on the other. And they form a formidable triangle. It's just that, that those three dominant players supplemented by just terrific play on the part of all their other teammates have just, just been so fun to watch this year. Yeah, and so far the little bit of motion and trickery in the backfield for Greenfield hasn't distracted them all. There's a direct snap to a back. He's looking for his room in the corner. He's got some room. Gets around the corner. Taken down right that's around the Renner. first down market marker by Renner. Yeah, and that's uh, that's a cornerback's play right there. Give uh, give the Green Wave a lot of credit. That was a very effective blocking scheme right there. And Renner had to come from the other side of the field to chase down that that uh, runner from the back side. A little bit of play. wildcat formation. Direct snap to the back. Found some room on the right hand side, and that'll move the chains. That puts him right about the 50 yard line, maybe the 49 and a half yard yeah, line. Number, of the Blue number, Devils. number 48, Caven Powers, and number 32, Gavin Bullock, really need to be prepared for those sweeps going forward. I'm sure they'll make appropriate adjustments in, as the game wears on. Now we have a trips left formation. Trips left formation with two backs in the backfield, quarterback and a shotgun. Takes the snap, there's the handoff. Look at this on the left hand side. He has some room, gets past two Blue Devils, two Blue Devils, tries to cut it back. And that one didn't work. The last cutback that is brought down by Renner. And I'm trying to see who else was out there. Was that number 56? Chased out there. Dylan Demon. Yeah, number 56 got out there as well. Dylan Demon. Unfortunately, on that play, uh, Ryan Long took too sharp an angle, and the runner was able to get to him on the outside. Yeah. So that was a gain of about. Did they move the chains there on that one? Mm -hmm, about a 15-yard gain there. Yeah. So I bring a first down now. They are on the 38-yard line. Let's call it. Greenfield suddenly is putting together a nice drive for themselves. Yeah. And now there's some more discussion between the referees and the coaches. Well, Rob, this is certainly a spirited game out here today so far. 
Lots of discussion between the referees and the coaches. And I, I'll, I'll give the referees some credit here too. They're 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 not losing control. They're they're talking to coaches, saying, "Look, we have it under control." Um, because there's a lot of people here, and we don't want to make a lot of people angry. I think we're all set here to get going. No, I spoke too soon. All right, after further discussion, Greenfield is now ready to run the play. First and 10 on the Blue uh, Northampton side of the field. Here's the shotgun formation with the two backs. Now the two backs are going close to the line. Takes the snap, he's looking to throw. Got a man over to the middle. And once again, knocked down that time by Rentis. As you were saying, Rob, those linebackers aren't gonna let those passes go through. Oh, nice play by Rentis there. That was almost a duplicate, exact duplicate of what we saw Ryan Long do a couple plays earlier. Gonna bring up second and 10. Second and 10? About the 38 yard line of the uh, Blue Devils. Let's see if we get two plays off within, you know, a minute of each other. Greenfield likes to have that motion among its backs. Now the quarterback's looking around. Looks a little bit confused. There's the whistle from the referee. To say, okay, we can play now. Now the quarterback's up under center. He has an eye formation behind him. One receiver split out to the left. One end out to the right. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff. He's looking to throw again. He throws balls up. Almost picked off by Melcher. Nice play by Melcher. Uh, I question, I don't think the Greenfield quarterback should have thrown that ball. That was a dangerous pass. Well, well, you know, Melcher did a good job of knocking it down. You know what I'm observing? I think so many of the Greenfield plays involve using a, a formation that we've come to learn and uses an overweight player in a legal position that Greenfield is uh, forced to uh, narrow their Play set down. That's an excellent play, Rob. They're a little bit out of sync because they have players in positions that they're not used to. There's, there's a snap. There's a handoff. Looking for some room on the right-hand side. He's got to go back, and he's going to oh, be brought man. down by Devontae Edmonds. Fumble! And they call that down. He's recovered by Greenfield. Anyway, they're going to call him down. And it looks like the Greenfield ball carrier may have been hurt on the play. And that's the end of the half. Is it out? Well, we're getting ready to start the second half here. The Blue Devils came out of their halftime talk with the coach. Fired up, to say the least, Rob. Well, with an 8-0 lead, that's that's not a big lead in this game. One in the, green, uh, the Bulldogs from Greenfield have shown themselves capable of breaking open a big play. So they better be fired up. That first half was certainly an interesting one. It featured a lot more rules interpretation than it did actual football. It was a rules seminar. I think there was some in-depth discussion of how to have certain players play in their proper position. There was also a lot of spirited discussion among some of the fans from what I understand and hopefully that won't continue too much in the second half. So the Blue Devils are going to kick off to the Greenfield Bull Bulldogs as the discussions on some of the finer points of the rules continue. I don't think this is what the referees had in mind when they donned their shirts this morning. I think they're ready for the onside kick. What do you think? It definitely looks like the uh, the Bulldogs are uh, preparing for a script kick along the ground here. Yeah, that was the same formation they used the last time the Blue Devils kicked off. Let's see. Boy, Kevin kick Powers is going to check to make sure everybody's ready. Mm -hmm. Whistle blows him in. And that's Landry coming up with the kick. There's the kick. Gets past the first line of defenders. It bounces a little bit, and he just falls on it. Wasn't going to risk a fumble on that one. It's probably a wise play. You know, they, at best he might have advanced about five yards or so, rather than risk rather than risk the fumble. A very wise play on the part of the uh, bulldog receiver on that. Yeah, I think that was what the coaches drilled in their heads. If that ball comes to you, don't even try to run with it. Just fall down on it. They'll take over on their own 40-yard line. Now, when the half ended, Greenfield had put together a little bit of a drive. Uh, then it got bogged down in some of those rules discussions, among other things. I have faith that the Blue Devil defense will be able to match the Greenfield offense here. Going well, for some last minute personnel shifts there. Again, you know, what's uh, what's uncomfortable about this game is we're, we're perched on top of a precarious 
tin bleachers and thought that the, just the tension in the field is, is enormous. I'd feel a little safer if I were on the ground and my gloves were off, given a lot of the uh, language that has been going on being saying, Robert, from the other side. What you're saying, Rob, is you're not that comfortable with being around these people. We're usually up in the booth removed from them. Well, I don't mind being around the people. I just want an opportunity to defend myself around these people because um, First this, this could be grease-like rioting going on here. <laughs> Greenfield sending their backs in motion. There's a snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Found a man. Threw it over his head. That was another dangerous pass. Uh, he actually had two receivers open there, but he overthrew the one who was short, and it was too short for the one who was long. You know, I give the Green Wave a lot of credit. They're trying to open it up. They're, they're trying to get that quick, quick, quick strike, and it's a high-risk offense that could result in, in some, some challenges. Well, the quarterback does throw the ball with a little bit of zip there, and he also was, was very quick with his decision-making, which is imperative against this Blue Devil defense because they're going to be on you if you take one second longer than you should. Quarterback is up under center now. He's looking at the sideline to get the final play call. Eye formation behind him. Takes a snap. There's the handoff to the deep back. Looking for some room on the right. And he is met and brought down. Renner. Is that Renner again? That's a loss of five. Great play by Renner. Yeah, that play just took too long to develop. Uh, the handoff was a little bit shaky. I noticed number 21, the ball carrier, didn't quite have a smooth, a didn't quite have a clean handle on it, and that slowed the play down and allowed the speedy Renner to penetrate into the backfield. Yeah, the running back had to hesitate a little bit to get, his, get a handle on the ball, and by the time he got the ball, the hole was closed. So that's a second and, let's call it 14 I think it's going to be third down, right? The first down was an incomplete pass. You're right, Rob. It's going to be a third down. Third and 14, let's call it. And I think they're on about the, their own 36-yard line. The score is 8 to nothing. It is a beautiful day. Uh, sun is shining. It's, it's, it's nice out. I formation behind the quarterback. Takes the snap. There's the pitch to the deep back. Look at his room on the right. Gets the line of scrimmage. Now he's passed. He's got a hole. He's still on his feet. Pushed out of bounds just short of the first down marker. Yeah, that was Cicero, number uh, number 13, who came out of a safety position to, uh, to break up that play. But that was after a long gain. That's going to bring up a fourth and about four. That's fourth and about four. And, and, and that play, Rob, that's exactly what they were trying to do on the third down play. That time they had the clean pit, pitch to the deep back, and he just cut it up there for a solid game. Now here's a big play for the Blue Devil defense. Boy, sure is, and the Blue, Blue Devils have shown themselves vulnerable on the corners. They've dominated the line of scrimmage, but uh, to the credit of the Green Wave, they've done a nice job when they got outside. Let's see if the, if the Greenfield offense has picked up on that as well. Yeah, I suspect we're going to see some sort of sweep out, probably to the near side, probably to our side, which is the wide side of the field. And judging by the way that the blockers are set up, I think that's probable. Yeah, that's coming this way. Shotgun. He's looking to throw. Got a man open. Throws the ball too low. And he's upset with himself. He had a little bit more time than he thought he had. He rushed that throw a bit. Incomplete. Blue Devils will take over on downs. Yeah, not only did he rush it, he threw it off his back foot. Um, one of the primary rules in delivering a, a, a well-thrown ball is to shift your weight from your back foot to your front foot. You have to have an awfully strong arm and be an experienced passer to throw falling away, throwing on your right foot. He did that there. Predictably, the ball was not accurately delivered. It didn't have the pace. It didn't have the accuracy. Incomplete. Blue Devils take over. First and ten. That's right around the 50-yard line. That's a big stop for the Blue Devils. Let's see if they can make something out of it. It's Melcher under center. Takes a snap. There's a handoff. Look if it's on the left-hand side. I didn't catch a number. That was really Nine. long. That was a gain of about, let's call it three or four there. Hey, in the first the half, uh, given all the timeouts and given the way that half goes, we really didn't get a chance to acknowledge all the sponsors for Northampton Youth Football. We did talk about our most generous sponsors, the premium level sponsors, but there are some goal level sponsors we need to talk about. And we'll do so right at the end of this play. Second and seven. Melcher up under center. Takes the snap. There's the handoff. Is that the long again? Yes, it is. That's the long. And he does a game. It's a solid game of about three. That'll bring up a third and three and a half or four. Yeah, we gotta we gotta acknowledge acknowledge some of our sponsors, including blue sponsor Newman Construction, and I think we have the camera there on Cy Newman. He's standing with longtime uh, youth football volunteer Andy Shaw. We appreciate uh, both both Cy and Andy not only have been volunteers, but uh, his construction business has been a generous sponsor to Blue Devils football for years. Third down, Melcher under center. Takes the snap. There's the hand Cicero. To Cicero. He's got the first down. He's looking for more. Still on his feet. Down to the 30. 
Down to the 20. Finally pushed out of bounds about the 15 yard line. Get all the, get all the Blue Devils. The Blue Devils have, uh, she have a little bit different backfield this year. They've got number three, Melcher, under center. Number 36, Gerard, and I think is nursing an injury. Played quarterback all year. Cicero's performed aptly in that role of halfback. Showed his agility and quickness there. That was a long game, bringing up first and 10, the 12-yard line of Greenfield. That was a great play. Hey, additional goal sponsors for the Blue Devils include Pioneer Landscapes, MRW Connected LLC, Liquors 44, Attorney Mark Tanner of Bacon and Wilson, Wilson Osberg and Associates. First and 10 from the 12. Oh, Melcher okay. takes the snap. There's the handoff to Rentis. Look at the little left. Tries to cut it back up. Still on his feet. Eludes one tackler. Stiff arms another tackler. Rumblin, bumblin, stumbling. Falls down after a loss of about three. Ball came loose, but they're going to say that, that he was down. That was an exciting play for a loss, Rob. Yeah, you know, he showed a lot of determination, and uh, I think the Blue Devil, I think the Green Wave was hoping that they got a turnover, but that ball did come out when he hit the ground. Hey, we've got a couple other goal sponsors, the Florence Savings Bank and the World War II Club. The News. Blue sponsors include Collective Copies, Newman's Construction, Goggins, Real Estate Joe's Pizza, the Whalen Insurance Agency. Special thanks also goes to Duff Business Associates, the Valley Pro Home Improvement, Weber and Grinnell Insurance, the Blue Bonnet Diner and Strides, and there's a number of families who have generously supported this program for a number of years, and they include the Morrison family, the Benedizics, Ron Berenson and his family, the Jim and Diana Zinal, the Tudrins, and the Burnishes. Thank you all. Brings up a second, let's call it 14 here. Meltzer adjusts his gloves, gets up under center. He takes the snap, there's a hand up to Cicero, looking for the roll on the right, makes the first guy miss. Takes three guys to bring him down, and that's, you just don't, you don't think that Cicero has that strength, but he does. He, you know, and, and he just tiptoed by those, uh, those defenders. They thought they had him, and he just swiggles his hips, and he's by him. That gets back to the original line of scrimmage, third and ten. Yeah. Hey, the board of directors include uh, President Hank Jordaner, who's also a coach of this team, Ron Berenson, Diana Zinal, Erica Lamana, Taryn Johnson, Patrick Diggins, Brian Bises Biseski, and Manfred Melcher. Thank you all for your contribution. It's a full year job, and the players and families in our community appreciate your efforts. Brings up a third and ten. Here's that trips left formation that has been successful for them, usually from this direction. Let's see. There's Melcher, fakes the handoff. Now he's looking to throw. Almost picked off. If you're going to throw that ball, you got to have a little more zip on it than that. You know, Ryan Long, <clears throat> Ryan Long has a big size advantage over that cornerback. I would have uh, liked to see seen a high soft one there to give Long an opportunity to use his height advantage. Yeah, the quarterback had better position for that pass. You no know, harm, get, no foul. Fourth and know, ten. But I tell you, part of the reason that that throw was not probably where it could have been had to do with the, uh, the, the defense for the... Um, Fourth for and the ten. Team. What you want to see here, Rob, is, is if you can't get the first down, at least get it deeper into the Greenfield territory. Shotgun formation. Melcher takes the snap. He's looking to throw. He throws it up for Long. Long's open. Touchdown! That's that pass you were talking about, Rob. Yeah, get it high. You let Ryan Long use his athleticism and his advantage. That's his second touchdown of the game. Melcher to Long, 14-0 Blue Devils. And the other great thing about that pass is he threw that ball before Ryan Long was looking back for it, but he had faith that his receiver was going to get there, and he did. And there were three, and there were three green uh, Greenfield Bulldogs in the field. I don't know if the ball got lost in the sun or they couldn't see over their tall line, but uh, next thing you know, the ball was over their heads into Ryan Law's paws for two, for, for, for six, and now they set up for two. Set up for two point conversion using the chips left formation that we've seen. Meltzer takes the snap. Hand off to Long. Long is, runs into a whole sea of green out there. Two point conversion attempt is no good. So that means the score is 14 nothing. Hey. <laughs> And the throngs of Northampton fans are here to root the kickoff. There's the kick. Picked up by the upback who rumbles forward for about five yards to the Greenfield Bulldogs to start on their own. I'm sorry, on the Blue Devil 45 yards. You know what, that line. was an impressive play by that Bulldog receiver. That ball was whipping across the, uh, the ground. He snatched that up and held onto it and burst forward. Uh, as opposed to that, the kickoff that started the half, 
Now the Blue Dogs, I mean, now the Blue Dogs have to do something. Well, as you know, we have a running clock here. We're in the second half. They have two touchdowns that they have to match. And not overcome if they want to get back in this ball game. Yeah, and, and this is uh, late in the third quarter. I see the referees looking at their watches. You know, this is uh, quite going to be quite a task for these Bulldogs. The Blue Devils gave up one score all year, and the Bulldogs, do Blue Devils find them, the Bulldogs find themselves down two scores to this Blue Devil defense. High formation behind the quarterback. There's that pitch to the right that we've seen. He's trying to find some room, and he's going to be pushed out of bounds. That's line Ryan Long. Short of the line of scrimmage. And number that's also number. Uh, 70 and on that, that's uh, Lucas Lyon Sosa on that as well. And that's the end of the third period. That's the end of the third period. Score 14 0 Blue Devils. Oh. All right, getting ready to start the fourth quarter here. 14 0 Blue Devils. They're going to be on defense here for a second and it's called 13 play. Here comes the Greenfield offense out of the field. And we were just saying, Rob. Uh, they got to get something going here. It's going to be tough against this stout Blue Devil defense. Well, you know, the at, at best case scenario is they get three possessions in the second half. That's best case scenario. In the fourth quarter, and, yeah. I mean, in the fourth quarter. So if they can, they've got to score in at least two of them. So the quarterback is in the shotgun formation, getting everyone to the right spot. Three receivers to the right. There's a handoff to one of his backfield mates, and he has met. By Edmonds. Devontae Edmonds in the backfield. That was a gain of maybe a half a yard. Yeah, number 48, Powers helped. Yes. Yeah, after uh, after that big play to start the game early in the er, early in this uh, ball game, but for a couple of sweeps, the Greenfield Bulldogs just have not been moving the ball with any consistency. And that's number 18, Xavier Chartier, who reports into the game for the Blue Devils. Now they move that trip formation to the left side of the formation. Quarterback takes the snap. There's a hand off to 21. There's a flag on the play, too. I think it might be motion. Yeah, and the runner is brought down just shy of the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I think the Blue Devils will probably decline that penalty, and that's going to bring a fourth and 11. They'll take the down. Yeah, I don't, I don't see them taking that penalty. And uh, Coach Demon did decline the penalty. That's going to bring up fourth and about 11. So legal procedure on the Greenfield Bulldogs. That penalty is declined. That brings up a fourth and 10. Yeah, and they're going to have they're going to have to go for it in this situation. Yeah, they really have no choice. As we've said many times, clock's running, and they're running out of time. Literally. Hey, as we wait. Real opportunity to acknowledge the contribution from all the Blue Devils this year, led by number 79, Jacob Kozlikowski, inside lineman number 77, Jared Smith, defensive specialist number 70, Luca Sosa, safety, Henry Brick, Shane Callanan, number 61. Also have to acknowledge the uh, contribution by Isaiah Rodriguez, that's number 57. Contributions from Dylan Demon, number 56, and number 53, Jacob Matatansky, also have been critical to the Blue Devils' success this year. Fourth and 10, quarterback takes a snap. He's going to keep it himself, rolling to his right, looking for some room. And he is going to be out of bounds well short. Yeah, uh, he was escorted out of bounds by Troy Renner. And, and number Cicero 18 did a great Chartier, job. Of, and so did um, number 18 Chartier. Off the block. Yeah, nice job by the Blue Devils. Hey, there was a whole wave of Bulldogs out there, but the Blue Devils just penetrated that wave, took away the uh, took away the penetration. That was a three-yard gain when they needed 11. Blue Devils take over first and 10. They are on their own 42-yard line with a 14-0 lead. And also, Ron, I think we should acknowledge all the fans who made the trip out here to Bouncer Town today. Yep. You can hear them in the background, lots of spirit. Yeah, they're spirit. tiptoeing to see over the top of each other. The shorter ones are peeking underneath. It's not an ideal venue to watch football, that's for sure. But they're here, they're spirited, and it's a beautiful day. Blue Devils take over. Melcher up under center. He has an eye formation behind him. Takes the snap. There's the handoff to Ryan Long. He's got some room. He's still on his feet. He is tackled after a gain of about 12. But there is a flag on the play. Hey, as this game can chop block, there yeah, on probably. The Blue that's that's going to be a bad. That's going to be a big penalty. That's that's tough to overcome. Yeah, that's that. that that's the kind of penalty that keeps the uh, the hopes alive for this bulldog team. Hey, we are, we gotta gotta acknowledge the contributions of some of some of the other Blue Devils. They include number 52, Nico Mastroliangelo, who's done a nice job in the line when he called on this year. Number 48, Kevin Powers, who's done a great job on the corner. Lucas Phelps. Number 44. 
offsetting penalty. Oh, there were offsetting penalties on that play. Hey, number 36, we talked about uh, Gavin Gerard, and he's uh, done a great job at QB all year, and we can only suspect that he's nursing an injury, which is why we haven't seen him in the game today. Also, I have to acknowledge the contribution of number 35, John Diggins, who's out there in the corner today. Number 32, Gavin Bullock. Number 28, Reed Stone. First and 10, after the penalty is offset, it's a basically a do-over. Melcher takes the snap, there's the handoff to Long, he's found some room up the middle, and wouldn't you know it, there's another flag on the play. Are you sure that's a flag? Yeah, there it is, I see it too. Number nine, Ryan Long with the carry. This time, I'm thinking they're going to call a legal procedure. Let's see what they got. Looks like it's on Greenfield. It's the Packers, fourth, Cardinal seven. Well, it looks like they picked up that flag, Rob. Yeah, I'm not sure what was going on, but uh, while, while we're waiting, we can acknowledge the contribution from Jamison Ney, num number 24, Miles Helliwell, number 15, Jalen Rodriguez, number 11, Noah Brink. Second and seven. And here's where I think the Blue Devils are wise to be using this bunch formation because they just want to keep the clock moving at this point. Good out to take the snap. There's a handoff to Cicero. He's got some room on the right-hand side. He's going to get the first down. Still on his feet. Down to the 30. Down to the 20. He's going to go all the way in for the score. That's going to put it away for the Blue Devils. That sure is, boy. That little, that little man can scoop. We've been talking about it all year long, man. He's a, he can't weigh more than about 47 pounds. And there's his mom showing her enthusiasm. Here we go. And his mom's jumping up and down in the bleachers. That's okay. She's shaking it up for us. To the camera. <laughs> she couldn't be more proud of her son. You know, he's not the biggest guy in the world, but boy, he can dance, man. He can dance. He flies. He, you know what? He probably can run on water. I'm convinced that that guy, he's so light. He can probably skip. His legs go so fast. I'm pretty convinced he'd be like one of those little water bugs. <laughs> What's great about that play is they used uh, a little bit of misdirection again. That was that counter play we saw in the first half that worked so well. Now they're going to line up for the two-point conversion. <laughs> Can't really see what's going on, but Melcher, there's a little pitch. Looking just... for a zoom in the left-hand side. That's Rentis in for the score. Yeah. That I makes gotta, it 22 nothing. I gotta tell you, just there's nobody here who's watched this team all year who's surprised at this score. This has just been as good a team at this division as you're gonna see. They just, you know, they make the plays on offense when they need to. They have some breakaway talent, and this team's defense has just been amazing. I mean, just incredible all year. They just, they're intimidating. They're technically sound. Great job by the coaching staffs. As Coach Cy Connor always said, if the other team can't score, you can't lose. Cy Newman. Cy Newman used to say that. I think Cy Connor, who, uh, was Cy his, Connor. who was his gym coach, probably had the same philosophy long before Coach Newman. Well, Rob, I think it's, uh, this is a fitting end to their season for this junior team. They've, they've dominated every game they've played in all year long. Yeah, you know, the, the, the uh, couple other players to acknowledge, number eight, Rentis, number six, Micah McGrath. Nice year to this entire Blue Devil team. They're putting the exclamation point in this season with a 22-0 lead, and I'm sure these coaches want the shutout. They're lined up for the kick. There's the kick, gets over that first line of defense. A good kick. That's a fumble. Muffed by the receiver, who the wise he falls down on it. That was a great kick. What do you want? Everything. They're firing all cylinders right now. What do you want? Bulldogs are going to take over. I'm looking for a yard broker. They're just shy of their own 40-yard line, maybe about the 35. Yeah, that's number 57, Isaiah Rodriguez, reporting in the uh, nose tackle. Looking, looking for uh, some other, looking for some other players reporting in. I'm seeing Jalen Rodriguez, number 15, in at safety. I see Coach Gerard and keep kicked away all season. Yeah, that was uh, well. Our uh, our production manager Andrew Kessler acknowledges that was. Um, the first airborne kick we've seen under the juniors all year. That was a great kick. So now the Blue Devils' task is to preserve the shutout. There's the snap. We're looking for some room on the <laughs> left-hand side. Somehow he got out of Devontae Edmonds' grasp. He's still on his feet. One got to beat. Cicero said, no way. 
No that way, Jose! That was a great run. That's a gain of about 16 yards there. Well, that's something you don't see much. A player actually standing up after an Edmonds hit. I think Edmonds was a little bit confused on that, too. He's not used to that happening. They fall down when I stick them. Cicero and just having a big time game. Greenfield calls timeout. After the Greenfield timeout, first and 10 from the 50 yard line. Right now we're late in the fourth quarter and Greenfield, I just think they want to we in the shutout for the Blue Devils. Yeah, this is the deepest out uh, there. It looks like they're actually at the 45, which is, I think they got as far as the 35 in one of their possessions. It's a handoff to number 21. He's been doing the bulk of their work today. And that time, you know, he, he got past Renner. I didn't see who made the tackle there. He'll catch a number for you. That was number 26. That was Ben Landry on that tackle. It's number 44. Lucas uh, Lucas Phelps just reported the game, and we also saw is that number 25 who came into the game as well. So it's a loss of about a half yard. That'll be up second and ten and a half. And this is where we start looking around to see if we can get any indication of how much time's left. Can't be much. Quarterback takes the snap, fakes the hand. No, there's the handoff. Oh. Gets the line of scrimmage. And he is dropped by Devontae Edmonds. Yeah, he's got long, strong arms. And as long and as strong as he is, he's that athletic. And there's the two minute warning. I think that's the first one of those I've seen all year. Always managed to miss that. And with that, the Northampton fans let out a big cheer because they know they're two minutes away from winning the Super Bowl. Third and nine. Quarterback is in a shotgun. One receiver out to the left. Now they go into that little shift that they've been using all game. Quarterback takes a snap. He's looking to throw. The ball is up. Almost picked off by Long. Long said, I've seen this play many, too many times. I'm going to pick it off this time. Yeah, you know, right I, think, yeah, I think Brian Long had dreams of the end zone. I think he was thinking, pick six. I'm going to score on this baby. I think the sun may have gotten in his eyes a little bit, but he was in the right position. Yeah, and he's, uh, he's a little disappointed that he didn't come down with that one cleanly. Well, the guy who scores two touchdowns on the day shouldn't really be that disappointed. No, he's had a monster game, and if, you know, it's hard to pick an MVP, but he might be my MVP. He just did a great job anchoring the defense. He knocked down passes. He had key tackles. He had big time runs out of his fullback position. And quite honestly, he caught that second touchdown pass, which really was the clincher. That was a spectacular play. So yeah, for Greenfield, it could come down to this. Fourth and nine. Under yeah. two minutes left. They don't get a first down. Their season's over. Looking to throw a little screen pass. And it was over his head, and, and frankly, he was lucky because Melcher was, was sizing him up for a, a big loss. Yeah. Turnover on downs. The Blue Devils will take over. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to see anything fancy out of the Blue Devils here. There's only about a minute and a half left to go in the game. There is running time in these games. I think we might even see the Blue Devils just take a knee. Well, that's a little victory formation. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at all if the Blue Devils just uh, just take a knee on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there really isn't any reason at all for the Blue Devils to do anything other than just run out the clock, just take the snap, take a knee. But judging by their uh, huddle, maybe that's not. Yeah, maybe that's not what it's going to be. We'll see here. And there's a flag on the play. Is that for 12 men on the field, Rob? They're doing some counting. And they, yep, they concluded that Greenfield had 12 men on the field. Mm -hmm. So that'll that's, bring that's the ball five yards. That's in the rule book too, Andrew. So, yeah, that's somewhere in there. I'm sure the coaches are going to question that one, though, because uh, they've been doing it all year. They've been doing it all year, and it's, it's worked in the past. So, yeah, but fortunately this time the, the Greenfield coaches, you know, didn't didn't challenge the rule. Like I guess they, they've read that one. <laughs> so it's first and five now, but uh, that's that's irrelevant. They're probably just going to take a knee here, and I. I don't see Joe Pasarczyk in the building, so I think they're going to be safe. Yeah, that looks like a, uh, let's, let's see here. Melcher takes a snap. There's a hand off the long, looking for some room on the right-hand side. He gets the first down. He's padding his MVP statistics at this point, Rob. Another fine, fine gain of five by Ryan Long. 
No, there's nothing fancy. That's just a, you know, that's just a, that's just a handoff to the fullback. Plows ahead. That's straight up smash mouth blocking right there in that play. Again, I wouldn't uh, wouldn't mind seeing Ryan. I wouldn't mind seeing uh, Ryan Long back playing safety and not fullback and seeing Melcher just take a knee. Brings up first and ten. Melcher takes the signal, takes the snap, hand off to Long again, same play. He rumbles down, almost broke it. That's gonna be maybe a yard shy, and there's the game. Final score, Blue Devils 22, Greenfield Bulldogs zero. Super Bowl champion, Northampton Blue Devils. Well earned, congratulations to this Blue Devil team, to these Blue Devil coaches, they, uh, they earned this honor. It's been a tremendous season. Congratulations, fifth and sixth graders. You did your community proud. You did Northampton football proud. Andrew Kesson, Kesson Productions. Andrew Shelfo, thank you very much. I'm Rob Osberg. This has been an exciting year. Thank you.